Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. Before I begin with more sad news, here is a brief overview of topics we'll cover in the webinar on Saturday the 19th of December at 20 hundred hours GMT. There is a lot of ground to cover and the webinar is likely to be around two hours long. See the description for joining instructions. OK, moving on. Yesterday I was contacted by the son of the pilot fatally injured in this American Ranger 1, or AR-1 as they're popularly known. It was fitted with a Rotax 915 motor and flown by a pilot in Utah. I'm told the pilot owned a Cavalon previously and having sold that aircraft he flew with his son in his Magni M24, also with a Rotax 915, before buying this AR-1. The AR-1 is a very popular and reliable kit-built gyroplane with the option of a canopy as was fitted to this aircraft. The pilot was also an experienced fixed-wing multi-engine CFI with current IFR and although he was 77 years old he was said to be very active and essentially a fit individual. The initial view expressed by the Sun was that there had been a tail strike during the ground roll which then led to a loss of control. But as you'll see in the video that I'll show at the end of this clip, the takeoff is clean and there's no obvious problem with the aircraft mechanically at this stage. What is clear from the footage is that the aircraft is in a reasonably steep climb post the takeoff before what looks like a large rudder input to the right, commanded or otherwise, before control is then lost and impact with the ground. The engine was functioning throughout and there's no noticeable attempt to modulate the motor. The impact with the ground has damaged the propeller, which shows that the motor was functioning at impact. The NTSB continue their investigation. Shoot. That's for you. Dang, you see he's full right rudder. Holy crap, he's going down. Shoot. 